Welcome back, my Alpha Squad, to some more League of Legends. We're back at it again with good old Naughty Boy. We all know how much we love to play Nautilus. And I'm bringing... This time around, it's not that I'm particularly looking to do something stupid or something fun. No, I'm kidding! We're always doing something stupid and something fun. Let's hop right in. So this time around, we're looking to do as much shield bash damage as we can since the shield bash scales with um, shield amount and your bonus health I'm pretty sure I think so we got grasp of the undying shield bash obviously second win so we can heal and fight and absorb life to get even more why are they pinging me I don't want to see your pings uh, chat off oh, thank you Either way, Overgrowth could get even more health. Then we have Presence of Mind so we can just stay in a fight longer. Uh, we need some Ability Haste so we took Legend Haste. Then we have Attack Speed so we can attack faster. And then also health, uh, double health based on level. So the basic idea is going to be uh, put it as... Uh, we're still going to Q Max first because what's Nautilus without is good old Q. And... It's not list without, well, without its good old Q. And then afterwards we'll max the shield so that the shield bash does even more damage. And then given all that, we will be building any item that gives a shield. So, off the top of my head, Locket gives a shield and that's luckily a support item so no one can get suspicious, you know. <laughs> and then after that, we are we are going to have to build a tier so we can have Fimble Winter that turns into Winter's Approach. Which gives shield when either immobilizing or slowing an enemy. And that gives us a shield. And she's a little too fast. But we did use the level 2 as best we could. And we already got some shield bash damage, so that's pretty good. As I was saying, then after Winter's Approach, uh, they do they are quite heavy on AP. So given the Seraphine, the Vagar, and uh, Amumu, that's a lot of AP damage. So for that reason we are gonna look to build Koenig Rookern because that gives a passive shield uh, I think like every 12 seconds 10 seconds thereabout and then uh, if the game goes longer we're definitely going to build Sterex Gage because that gives a shield if you get low on health I'm just trying my best to keep them off my ADC So yeah, Sterex Gage, because that gives us shield if you're low health. And how many items does that? I think that's like five items, right? Yeah, Locket, Winter's Approach, Sterex Gage, Kane Crookern. Oh, that's four items. Is there more shield items that I'm missing? Locket, Winter's Approach, Kane Crookern, Sterex Gauge. Oh yeah, Eclipse. Eclipse also gives a shield um, on the second attack you do. So obviously if I land a hook and hit them with the root, then that's going to give me a shield. So I can do shield bash with that. And I think... Yeah, that's... I think that's about all the shield items. Because the thing is, you cannot build... Say... Uh, I missed... You cannot build... I'm just gonna root her immediately. She should be dead, right? Yeah. Oh, Israel. So close, but yet so far. Um, so what I wanted to say, I cannot build... I cannot build... Say, something like... Uh, Maw and Sterex Gauge or Shield Bow and Sterex Gauge because all of them uh, use very specific uh, shield mechanics where it gives you an automatic shield when you're low so they cancel each other out 
but if it gets to late game enough where I need to actually build um, a six item like sell boots then I guess I could always build uh, bloodthirster because they changed it so it gives a shield uh, uh, okay someone I'm guessing he disconnected I'm not out of mana, but I want to back and buy since we got a plate and everything. And staying now would be stupid since she's going to be up on damage. Oh yeah, uh, she has crit glow. Doesn't really add too much damage, but if she gets lucky crits, that is going to be a bit of damage. So yeah, first things first, I'm going to build the locket. So that's uh, going to be Kindle Gem, uh, the... Magic resist cloak and a cloth armor. I think uh, I forgot what the magic resist cloak was called. No magic mantle, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. And I'm just using direct camera now, uh, since I'm not really doing anything in bot. I just want to like see where the action is. Okay, Israel's back bot, so I can now look to engage. Ah, the hooks are just too clean. Oh. Luckily, I looked away when I stepped on a trap. Because we all know, traps don't work if you don't see yourself stepping on them. <laughs> she should not walk... What the hell was I saying? She should not walk back, given uh, she's too low. And Seraphine was a little... little stupid there. A Mumu solo dragon, that's not good. Hopefully they can get void drops then. Uh, Mumu's mid, so he is going to void drops now. I don't know if they can fight that though. Like, I would personally like to roam for this. But I also feel like Ezreal might get caught out if I don't stay. Look, Ezreal is actually the perfect uh, ADC to roam with because they are, can easily get out of situations if they need to. Okay, so we're just letting them get Void Grubs? Okay. First Rake and Void Grubs, great. That is pretty annoying, but... Not much we can do about it. Um, kinda down in damage right now, well, on Ezreal's part. But I still think we can win if we have a good engage. Why is she walking forward? Got her. Knocked them both up. Oh, he missed. Uh, Ezreal? Never mind, I'll take it. Uh, auction. Doing some interesting things. Oh, a Mumu's. Okay. Timo not having the. Why would he just stand still in the queue, though? I don't think Timo has played against Scion too much. Uh, bot lane's missing. Yeah, it's because we. Oh, a Mumu is mid. Uh, Nunu might be dead here. A Mumu is most definitely dead here. And. Oh, god, auction. Auction too. That is unfortunate. And Timo is dead as well. Dude, what? Okay, this is gonna have to be a serious bot lane carry. Why do I... Why do I get... Like... Wait, Teemo got the kill in Scion somehow? Here. Why do I get troll... Oh, not troll. Why do I get, like, bad teammates when I do fun stuff like this? It's fine, we can carry. I hope. Uh, for boots, probably gonna go CDR boots. Might go armor boots, given how 
uh, strong their teams are. I don't know. I, it's a uh, big either or. So it is. Yeah, it's null magic mental. Okay, okay. So I was right with the name. But yeah, first things first. I'm gonna build locket. It's obviously not something I would normally. Okay, locket might be something that I would build if I was like playing serious, like in ranked or something. Winter's approach, honestly, also because it's not—it's not a bad item. It's actually a really good item. Okay. She's dead. See, I just left her that time so I don't accidentally kill her with like grasp or something. What's my shield best at already? 123, that's not bad. Plus 8. I wanna see what it scales with. And auction's dead again. That is not good. Oh, I wanted to clear that. Wait, what? It's like I simultaneously hit her and the wall. It's actually kind of weird. I don't care about the plates. I'm just, like, right now I'm just playing the support that's good no matter what. So I don't really need... Oh! Oh, Seraphine's gone. Oh, she might be... Oh. We can dive her in all honesty, if she stays. Yeah, we can dive. Oh god. No, my shield! Damn it. Got double CC. He should still be dead though. There we go. And I got the assist. I thought he was gonna Q again. That's why I flashed, so that I can like dodge the second Q. But I was wrong. Were we really that annoying we made Zyra quit uh Seraphine quit already? Oh no, Timo's dead. Oh wait! He's both dead and not dead. Does he get the plate? He does. Okay. Auction do not go in for this. That's a free kill. Oh no! Goodbye, Auction. Wait, I can block the Q? Yeah. Oh, too much CC. Goodbye. Noxion should be fine, yeah. Surprise Caitlyn didn't just ult him while we were all on top of a Mumu. Uh, he should be fine to get the grubs on his own. I'm still just gonna hover, just in case. Um. Ezreal should be fine on his own. He has a lot more damage than she does right now. But I do think we need to take care of the slam. Oh yeah, and obviously for um, obviously for the support item, I went the one with the shield. There we go, free kill. Okay, now I'm just gonna do my best to um, keep him off of my teammates so he doesn't kill them. Ezra wants to do the Herald. I'm fine with that. I'll tank it. Wait, it's already back up? Didn't it just pop? What's it called? Celestial Opposition. 18 second cooldown. It felt like it was way faster than that. Why uh, Nunu isn't here, I do not know, but... At least seems like Amumu is backing off. Maybe he assumes Nunu is here. Which honestly is really good for us. Because um, it's basically a thing of if 
Oh no, Tima, Tima might. Tima is dead. Yeah. Hi, Caitlyn. Alts in range. Man, that stun lasts forever. Oh, Vagar! Oh, <laughs> oh, I almost went into the Vagar W. This is why I'm thinking, can I... Oh, I might be... Yeah, I'm dead. I did at least block a Mumu from getting on the team, though. Which is fine. It is just kind of annoying that he solo ulted me, though. But the thing is, given how the rest of the team's playing... Makes sense. He doesn't really need to ult any of the others. We definitely need help in top lane. So like I said, after the... Yeah, I went. I decided on armor boost design. So like I said, after Locket, I am thinking of going Winter's Approach. Uh, Teemo might... Yeah. I'm on my way. So Teemo can fight him. If Auction can just stop his ult, we should be fine, yeah. Oh, I got the kill, nice. No minions for you. My ult's up in 10, we might be able to uh, jump scare the Caitlyn. Or they can take care of it themselves. Yeah, they don't need me. Uh, next objective is Drake, so if we can set up a Drake, that would be great. Hey, look, it's Vagar. He's gonna ward off here. Nunu is doing his own thing. Oh, action, run. Oh! Oh, shizer! Lock it, lock it, lock it! They're all shielded. It's too much CC. It's too much CC. No, I tried to block it! God damn it, he lived. Where'd Nunu go? Oh no, Israel. Oh shit, I landed it! I mean, of course I landed. Uh, no, 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 don't back. We need help with Dragon. I'll tank it, and you two can DPS. It's like... They, they don't need to worry about it. I get what he was trying to do, he just kind of messed it up a little. Like, if you do it right, you can just swing around this and then... Shoot, uh, shoot the dragon like which is a fun thing to do you just you just kind of mess it up a little uh we kind of need to stop the sound who's tping timo get him timo will he still he's probably gonna base but i'm on my way I'm down to fight him, if he's gonna fight. Okay. Okay, now you messed up. You should have used your ult to run away, dumbass. Goodbye. No, just no. Oh, auction got Caitlyn. Nice. Uh, Nunu might be in trouble, though. Oh, Nunu is most definitely in trouble. I'm down. Ah, oh, damn. Well, we got a Mumu flashed. But yeah, slowly working my way towards the Fimble Winter. Which will change into Winter's Approach. What's my Shield Bash damage at? You want to know? Let's check it out. Five... 96. Not bad. The game's not even been 20 minutes in. Like, just keep in mind, it is not, like, 
It's not a rune. Since I'm not a solo laner, it's not a rune I'm going to actively, continuously proc. So obviously the stats are going to be a bit low, but like even for it being quote unquote a bit low, it is still doing a lot of damage. Nah, get back here, bro. Ward the bush. This should be a free kill. As long as... Oh, shit. As long as everyone just stays out... Okay, now everyone just needs to stay out of this passive. Vagar, I will come for your booty. Oh, go, Nunu, go! Go, Nunu, go! How's he that... Nah, fuck this. We got this, we got this, we got this. Hiya! Haha! Eat shit, bitch! Let's go! 742. Dude! I love this rune. It's so. Okay, so. Obviously, Nautilus is not the only champ you can do it on. It's just so much fun with Nautilus because you can just. With your shield. Your shield cooldown is so low, to be honest. You can almost constantly be proccing this. And the more health you get, the better the rune gets. Like now, it's 18 plus 0.85, uh, 8.5% of shield amount. So that's still a lot of damage. How much damage does it do? So it's 38. So it's 38 damage plus the 8.5 shield amount, whatever the shield amount. I mean, currently my shield amount is. 351, so let's just say 9 times 3, so that's 27, you know. So 20. oh no, now it's even up more. So now 23, so that's 43, plus the 27, that's 50, that's 70. It's 70 damage for e uh, every shield bash proc. And that's, that's only on my uh, passive shield. Then I still have... And I still have the shield from... Okay, Winter's Approach is not going to give me shield. Uh, Fimble Winter will. But then I also have the shield from the Locker of Solari, which will go up to 360. Uh, 200 to 360. Yeah, 360 basically. So when I activate that, then I'll get another attack. So what I love about this rune is just simply the fact... That it activates every time uh, I gain a new shield. Whenever I gain a new shield, I get the empowered attack. So that's why Nautilus and doing different shield items is just so strong. When my my celestial opposition uh, activates, it gives me a shield. I think this counts. Reducing. Nah. I am not sure. Maybe not. It doesn't. It might not count as a shield. Got him. Let's go. Three flashes. Unfortunate. I know. Two on our side. But it's fine. Because we literally, like, almost insta killed him. I doubt Amum. Oh shit. Amum is going for Ezreal. He's got Caitlyn though. I'm on my way. Oh wait. Maybe I should have taken... Um... You can't get around me, dumbass. Maybe I should have taken Barrier. Because that also gives shield. Um, does that count as a shield? Barrier, barrier. Gain... Yeah, shield. <gasps> I should have taken barrier then I also then that's another shield that I would have had I'm an idiot six two and ten god damn can't believe we're so annoying we literally made Seraphine go AFK so early and uh, Nunu needs to be careful we can fight when I'm there You just need to stop his ult. Or not. That's fair. Okay. Guys, st step away from the Scion passive. 
Let the Nautilus deal with the Scion passive. <laughs> Six, two, and twelve. This is almost upgraded, and then it'll give me that pa uh, passive shield. Okay, it's kind of a semi-activatable shield, kind of like Eclipse, since it takes something to. Uh, my team is here, so I'm not afraid to fight a Mumu. No, Ezreal, wait! Don't kite away from me. I have the locket. There you go. Power of Locket, baby! I'm not saying Locket is a broken item, but it's so useful! Shield Bash, already over a thousand damage. Honestly, I'm down to do this. Amumu's dead. Vagar's getting curious. That actually pulled me into the cage. Goddamn. We should be fine. Do they have vision on this? I'm guessing so. We just... We kind of... Oh, Ezreal might actually just one-shot him. There we go. Oh, wait. Are they gonna get the Vega? Ooh. Oh. Wait. Maybe. Go, Teemo, go. Oh, no. He ran... Oh, we made Caitlyn quit too! We made Sion quit too! Oh my god! We are so annoying, we made three people quit the game. What a title. What a title. And my Winter's Approach hasn't even uh, fully uh, evolved to Fimble Winter yet. It's literally... Oh yeah, and like I said, third item, uh, Canic Recurrent. Wait, I thought... No, he left the game. He's literally just walking. I can't believe we were so annoying, we made three people quit the game. We made three people quit the game with our stupid build. I love it. Well, if you enjoyed that, you know, don't forget to leave a like. Because, as you can see, the build was literally... The build was annoying enough to elicit, not elicit, to cause three people to go AFK and leave the game. Shield bash damage, almost 1,200, 1,135. This was a fun game. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. And if you don't want to miss fun games like this, where we literally annoy the enemy team into quitting, then you just have to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And I'll see everyone next time.